This is in response to Dr. Paul Krugman's article in the New York Times on Friday, May 29, 2015, The Insecure Americans. And again, I applaud Dr. Dr. Krugman for again being out front in terms of what's going on. Uh, and I'm just going to bring out a couple things. You know, we had a thing with Dennis Hastert yesterday. We had the we have the elections going on. Uh, we have uh, the TPP. Uh, we have um, the economy actually shrank in the last quarter, 0.7%. Uh, so we have a lot of these things that are uh, uh, going on uh, that uh, the yakking class can talk about, while some of the underlying things that are really, really important are not being addressed. And what Dr. Krugman is indicating is that we, yes, are still a very rich country, even though most of that wealth for the last 30 years has gravitated all the way to the top. And very, very few people outside of the, the top has uh, has gotten um, <clears throat> has gotten part of that money, let's just say. <laughs> now, uh, one of the things that has also gone on is that the conservative entertainment complex has just been relentlessly uh, chewing on uh, those of uh, little means, of no means, and uh, degrading, debasing, uh, going after them, uh, indicating that they're moochers, they're part of the 47%, uh, they're not working, they want to live off the dole, and everything like that. And it has gotten to the point that three quarters of all conservatives feel that the poor have it easy. Uh, doctor, uh, uh, and, and then, of course, the politicians that resent, uh, represent them uh, exacerbate that because that's how they know they can continue to get elected is by bashing the poor. So we have this, you know, cycle going on here where uh, it's, you know, the poor are just getting raped, uh, let's just say economically, whereas all the money's going to the top, nothing for them, uh, easy things to do to fix Social Security, to provide for uh, more education, to provide for more food, more food security for people. Uh, we can do this, uh, but we don't have the political will on the right we don't have it remotely close on the right. Uh, Dr. Krugman refers to this as callous obliviousness, meaning that they know what's going on uh, and they don't want to do anything about it. I call it callous indifference, is that they could care less about the poor because they know that the poor don't vote in enough to make, it, to, to make them have to worry about the poor, <laughs> even though many of these Republicans uh, in, in the southern states represent some of the poorest of the poor in the United States. Uh, also, he indicated, Dr. Krugman indicated, that uh, uh, these same conservatives, only 15 percent, that meaning that 85 percent basically feel that the poor do not have hard lives, meaning that 15 percent agree, yes, they do have hard lives, and they do have very, very hard lives. And Dr. Krugman isn't even wants to talk about the, this article about that. He just wants to point out that that's what's going on. But where's the rest? Where is uh, the callous indifference? Uh, on the center. What about the centrist view? Uh, you know, because for years and years that centrist view was is that we need to cut Social Security. We need to raise the minimum, excuse me, we need to raise the uh, uh, age limit on Social Security, as Dr. Krugman points out, and has been, uh, statistics have shown this for years and years and years, is that, you know, for white people like me, my life expectancy is probably going to be, is going to increase as I have availability to, um, exercise probably a little bit more. Uh, I have the ability to, uh, because I have health insurance, to stay healthy, whereas those at the bottom really don't. Their life expectancy has not gone up. And in a lot of ways, the life expectancy is of many uh, of people of color, both Latino and of black, um, is lower than it was 35, 40 years ago. Then that life expectancy has gone down. But, you know, people are living longer, so 